And that's what we want to do here. We want to take you to the next level. We want you to achieve your goals. Coming to you live from FXV Digital Design in beautiful Wyoming, Pennsylvania, it's Fred Talk, the awesome podcast featuring awesome people. Visit us online at fxvdigital.com or your favorite social networks at FXV Digital. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you never miss an episode. I am your host, Freddie Vasquez, and with me is my producer and cuter half, Angie Wicks. Today, we have the honor of speaking with Alexis Sandoval Lenis, health and wellness influencer who walked into the gym and ended up jumping out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alexis, thanks for being here, brother. Thanks for having me, man. I'm so excited. Yeah, super, man, it's our honor. Excited. Right on. being here. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Thank you very much. Uh, so, Ange has been talking highly of you the past few weeks mm -hmm. and just literally came up to me one day and was like, Hey, can we have my buddy on? I'm like, sure. What does he do? He jumps rope. I'm like, what else? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but there was there was so much more to that story though, yeah. which is killer. So, uh, why don't you let us into jump roping and the phenomenon and like what's going on? Because we just watched a video literally a couple seconds ago, which is very very inspirational. Mm -hmm. But I want you to tell your story. Yeah, of course. So obviously during the whole pandemic lockdown when it first happened, everybody wanted to work out gyms were closed i didn't know what to do so i tried doing what everybody did going on runs but me being so heavy heavy set you know being fat obviously my knees hurt it used to be <laughs> yeah, by yeah, the way. yeah yeah <laughs> but it, used to, it hurt my knees like crazy and i would yeah. i would get tired of just uh, having to drive two three miles to go to the uh, closest trail so i was like one day i came home from running and i was like yo my knees are done and i mm -hmm. sat in my chair and it was like somebody like airdropped a message to me it was like jump rope literally just that just jump rope and i was like what i was in my head my mind i'm like jump rope what the heck so i look it up next thing you know i'm seeing all these weight loss videos from people jumping rope left and right saying how it's the highest form of calorie burning it's low impact for your knees really? yeah it's it's one of the yeah one of it's the best low impact for your low knees impact for your knees it's a form of like uh therapy almost in a sense for your ligaments your joints it keeps you active it improves your agility hand-eye coordination it's a full body workout it's full muscle activation and if you use a weighted rope which is what i did when I first got the ropes, it's even better. Like it, it, it goes, there's a graph that'll show you from uh, like light workout from like a jumping rope. It's, it goes from like yellow, which is mild. And then you uh, has like a muscle activated, a muscle activation compared to weighted ropes. And it's all red because you're really working it and it's obviously weighted. So it's, it's crazy. So I started off with that, just getting the weighted jump ropes. Right on. Yeah. And <laughs> my buddy, he actually made fun of me for buying the said jump rope. He was like, why are you spending a hundred dollars on a jump rope? I'm like, bro, I'm gonna use it every day. I did right. the math. I was like, if I do it every day, it's like six cents a day. It's gonna pay off, you know. So I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm, you know, I'm gonna do it. So I did it, and literally, like the first day or two, I could not jump rope to save my life. It took mm -hmm. me like a good three days just to get ten jumps in a row, and like I would get tired. So in between sets, I was reading that you want you want to do thirty to forty five seconds in starting off for okay. your intervals, and then take your break. But me, I was like, if I take a break, I'm not gonna sweat. So I started doing body weighted workouts, push ups, planks, you know, sit ups, whatever I could do in between, and then picking up the jump rope. So I, I did that for like the first like two, three weeks. And I've noticed like my mental health, me, myself, mm -hmm. like the empowering feeling I had from jump rope was crazy. Cause coming from like a couple, like before I was getting into the workout scene, I was depressed, you know, down in the dumps, dude. It was a big overset dude like i had nothing to do literally i was work drink that'd be it work 60 80 hour weeks not see my friends family mm -hmm. drink away the pain from whatever the heck i was going through and that was that was that and i was like nah i don't want to do that anymore so in the fact that jump rope showed me like i can literally mess up time and time again still pick it up and still keep on going that's what made me want to that's that's what empowered me to be like i can do whatever the heck i want in life and that it in itself made me like break free from like my old self so i started doing that daily every day every day like my, my knees when legs would hurt but i would be like nah i'm gonna i'm determined to lose this weight because like i haven't been fit in like the last probably three four years this is this is the honestly the best fit shape i've ever been right on. yeah so i did that for like the first three four months you know weight started just shedding off i was the confidence started building like I would go from wearing baggy, baggy shirts to feeling a little more exposed and, you know, wearing a little tighter shirts because I was like, I'm building the body for it. I deserve it. So and that started happening. And then after the weight shut off, I was like, all right, let me see if I can make a jump rope page because I was like, yeah, let's see. I, I had no idea there was a whole jump rope community out there on Instagram. Mm -hmm. 
So when I made it, I was just like, it was it was a bunch of those people who were just skilled. Like I saw people throwing ropes around like cowboys, like a lasso, catching, jumping over it, spinning it three, four times, crossovers. And I'm like, what the hell? I can't even do that. I only could do a simple double under crossover, this and that. Right. So I was like, all right. I was like, I'm going to make something out of this. And what made me want to make the Instagram is because during the whole weight loss um, journey, I would just post every day on my Snapchat. That's how it originally started, Jump Rope T. That's what the origin of it. I would just post on my stories. My nickname's T, just in itself. Where's T come from? Because you said that T, and I was like, his name? I was like looking at it, I was like, it's Alexis. Yeah, no, I'm like, man. I don't see the T anyway. It's not I, even the letter T no, in no, your it's, name. It's not even in my legal name. It's literally, <laughs> I've adopted it to become who I am. Like, I even have a tattoo of it. It's literally, All right, no yeah, that's me. That's cool, man. But in sixth grade, my buddies put a picture of Mr. T, the, I pity the yeah, fool dude yeah, from 18 yeah, yeah, yeah. in my locker and I don't know how or why but it just stuck and <laughs> I've had teachers principal nuns everybody just call me T and I was like yeah I'm that's tea. killer man yeah I was like, I'm that's tea. cool I'm T from now on for sure yeah so then I started off with the snapchat literally posting every day I'm like hey if my fat ass can get up and do something so can you yeah, like you know sure you can easily get up and do something the fact that I'm up here jumping rope and nobody jumps rope around here so you can go up and do literally whatever you want. If you want to pursue something, pursue it. And that's where the phrase, for me, it go out and get it, mi gente, like, started. So I would just, like, literally every day, I'd be like, some little, you know, motivational words and go out and get it. End the video, go out and get it, mi gente. And it became a thing. People were seeing me go out and get it, mi gente. And I was like, yo, this is great. There you go. You know, jump yeah. from T. It started blowing up a bit. So that's when the Instagram page came. And through that, I was surprised so many people were supporting. Like, when I made the first page, I probably received, like, 500 followers within the first week. And nice. I was like, holy hell, this is crazy. Like, I wasn't expecting this. And it was just through that, like, it just pushed me to get better with tricks. As you can see, you probably, if you've seen any videos, I throw that thing around like a lasso yeah. now. Yeah, it's insane. So, yeah, I, I honestly love it. It's, it saved me. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, because yeah, we were watching it before, and and uh, I couldn't believe, you know, how much bigger you were. Yeah. And, and so when you started your journey, how heavy were you? 251. 251. Mm -hmm. That was ju just jumping rope. Before that, I was running for like two weeks. I lost like five, ten pounds because I was switching on my diet and yeah. running like two, three miles a day. I tried to at least, but you know, knees hurt. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure. No, I get that. Mm -hmm. And so you went ahead and you started uh, running a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. Two fifty one. You started doing jump rope. Mm -hmm. uh, you started uh, realizing this was great for your mental health. Yes. Uh, what else did you have to do to, I guess, get the body that you have now that you're you're so proud of? So. I essentially had to switch around. Well, the thing with like a transformation of diet, it's like not only are you focusing on your physical like food, you're focusing on your mental health. Yeah. So that's what my mental side came in strongly because I was empowering myself, showing myself I could do new things, learning a new trick every day, a new routine every day. But besides from the like the actual diet part, I cut out every unnecessary sugar. I didn't drink any juice. I stopped drinking. I'm sorry, my mouth is dry. Water break. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I stopped <laughs> drinking. I cut out bread, oh geez, uh, pizza, and I made pizza. You know how hard it was to work at a pizzeria? All that cheese coming in. Oh yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was, this is my weakness, man. I cut out pizza, wings, everything, any, anything unnecessary. I switched to chicken, uh, ground turkey, spinach, a lot of, a lot of spinach, uh, egg whites, Greek yogurt. It was just make different things. Anything that I was organic, non-GMO, gluten-free, or like that came from the earth is where I was eating. So, and did you know all this or like, or cause like right now you sound like a man who just knows so much about it, diet. And did you learn that just on your journey? So growing up, I was always, I was considered morbidly obese growing up as yeah. a kid. And so like I had like two transformations. Technically I had my high school one where I would weigh around like 225 and I dropped down to like 145 from like freshman to sophomore year. And I was a twig, but then I joined the military after uh, high school with the national guard and did that. But, from that, I went through a breakup, and then that's when I started getting all the weight. But before that, I already had the knowledge because I would I was working out nonstop through in high school with my buddies, just trying to get better in basketball, right just on. working out. So I learned it throughout time, but like a lot of it, a lot of the knowledge I know now was definitely learned over the last year, especially with dieting. How old are you? Twenty three. Birthdays next month. Twenty four. Twenty three. Yeah. So <laughs> you joined the military, you National mm -hmm. Guard. Sixteen. Yeah. At sixteen. Yeah, I was way back then. Oh, so you like way back then, yeah. bro, you're 23. Yeah, man. <laughs> so way back then, like 40 years ago. Yeah. You know, I didn't know you could join the National Guard at 16. 16 yeah, parents' permission. You got to sign. 
Oh, mm. shit. All right. So you did that for how many years? Uh, about four. I got out. Four Wasn't years. Wasn't a fan of it. It wasn't for me. <laughs> nah, no doubt. So you did that for four years, mm. and you broke up with a girl. You broke up with me, technically, mm. with a heartbreak, whatever. And, and then you were like, fuck it. I'm just going to eat. Yeah, that's exactly what happened, dude. I was like, that's what I do when the Mets lose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck it, I'm just gonna eat. I did that every time the Knicks lose. Jeez, Louise. Because <laughs> there's gonna be Hente over here. He's from uh, Queens, Brooklyn. Yeah, Queens, New York. Yeah, yeah. man, right on. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. So we got some, uh, some we got some of that, that New York presence yeah. here for sure. <laughs> uh, not a Mets fan or a Yankees fan, but he no, is a Knicks fan. Knicks fan. So we'll, yeah. you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, you know, and I'm a Mets fan, good. so you know we, we know how that is uh, for sure. But he's from the old neighborhood, which is awesome. Do you know where you were hanging out in Queens and Brooklyn? Um, it was Jamaica, Queens, I believe. Or oh, Elmhurst? Jamaica, Elmhurst. Elmhurst. Yeah, it was, it was right in Jackson of, Heights. Yeah, it was. It was right off. Of, it was Itaca Street. It was off of Rosa Boulevard. I don't know if you know the Colombian restaurant, Mi Terra Colombiana, or Mi Pequeña Colombia. I think. I mean, they all look the same to me, but yeah. well, I just go I was, eat there. I live right around, like right around there. <laughs> so. Rosa Boulevard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Roosevelt Avenue. Yeah, yeah literally yeah. all that. I think you it was walk 88th, right to a, yeah. 88th Street. Oh, yes, yeah, so I was on 93rd. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah right Junction right. Boulevard was like where I used to hang out with my parents all the time. Yeah, right on. Okay, so mm-hmm. yeah, you know, I know where you're from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, so that's cool. Uh, right on, man. And then you moved here when you were six? Mm-hmm. Five, six, yeah. Five, I think, six. If I can remember correctly, yeah. And was it just your, your mom or your dad it's, or both of you just uh, wanted to come my mom, here? dad, I have a younger brother and an older sister. Right on. So we and they just were like, let's come to Reading? Reading, yeah, because I, I guess somebody, my mom had a friend here, and they told her, like, hey, Reading's quiet. They have, you know, the Hispanic population's growing. Let's move. So we ended up coming here. Loved it. Ended up staying. Built a life here. So we've been here ever since. That's it's killer, great. man. Yeah. So what are your aspirations now? I know you have the jump rope thing happening. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, what are you looking to do with this? So I've, I've essentially, like, through the whole jump rope, I started selling my own ropes my own merchandise all that stuff i just want to basically get to the point where i'm big enough to have my own line of jump ropes instead of buying in bulk and putting my logo on them i want to be able to customize be behind it and because i feel like my story is like it's inspiration you know you know it's it's it shows the little guy it shows the underdog it shows literally the couch potato the dude the depressed dude can go through anything and get the dream body or go dream job you know just be happy because that's that's all i want to be is just happy but through that essentially i just want to build up to that point where I'm just like a better influencer, if that makes sense. Yeah, dude. Uh, and you, you want to play that video? Definitely check it out. He's on Instagram, jump underscore rope underscore T. Yep. Right on. Definitely check it out. Uh, we're going to play this video that we just watched before. It's killer. So just check it out. Uh, we'll get into it. Do you want the video? Give me the TikTok video. The TikTok? Okay, yeah. Got you. That video was, def- I mean, they're all impressive, but Thank you. <laughs> let's watch this one first. We have no audio, but yeah, just check it out. Look, my man was two fifty one. Oh yeah, <laughs> but May first, twenty twenty. You already look like you lost weight right there too, man. Yeah, that's, that mm-hmm. was from running. Cause like <clears throat> with me, I can lose it fast, but like I said, I was just tired of freaking running. Like I, I hated it. Yeah, I'm with you. I, hate it. I didn't even try running because yeah. my knees hurt automatically. Yeah, so I'm saying like I'm good. <laughs> <clears throat> Remarkable, mm-hmm. two hundred thirty pounds. Yeah, it still blows my mind when I see this. Like, like I remember making the video. It was like nothing mm-hmm. but tears, <clears throat> nothing but tears. Oh man, I bet, dude. Yeah. Then you started lifting. Mm-hmm. Damn, dude. Speed. So it wasn't even a year. No, nah, no, nah, it was a couple months. And people were like, "Dude, there's no way you had to." Somebody, somebody on TikTok, one of the comments was like, "You went under the needle. You had to have like <laughs> uh, I was like, bro. "Oh my god, so <laughs> haters." I was man. like, "Yo," and people were like, "How'd you get rid of the loose skin?" I'm like, "Well, if you if you work out properly with the right form, with the right mm-hmm. muscle tension, the right muscle, <clears throat> for, basically, I was working out metabolically. So I like I did a lot of muscle under failure. So I was doing a lot of high reps, low weight, trying to form the muscle properly with the right form. And then it, over time, I increased weight, and the muscle just in i still have some loose skin now but like i was usually it now you look pretty good to me yeah. bro <laughs> <laughs> thank you um i do have a question on facebook for you uh, my friend lexi she asked do you plan on staying in reading or are you going to move somewhere else to grow your business um that's a great question i've actually <clears throat> i've been thinking highly hopefully going down to florida just to be closer with family and mm-hmm. it's more of a fitness scene down there too oh, so i feel like okay. it'll definitely definitely help me out down there right and it's nice weather too so i get to be shirtless half the time so i just yeah yeah I hate, I hate Show up new abs. not even that i just it just it's so constricting working out with a shirt it's just like especially jump rope definitely. i feel like i'm choking or something you know mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah for sure for sure no but yeah definitely hopefully most likely florida orlando 
be close to my mom. So is it all, just just your mom down there, or is it everybody? Down oh, there? she's remarried. But I have um, <clears throat> I have family in Miami and Fort Lauderdale, but mainly just to be closer with my mom and experience life again with her. <laughs> no, right <laughs> on. Years. Dude. Well, you definitely said <clears throat> something that uh, you know hit me at a good point was that you just want to be happy. Yeah, entirely. You know, like, that's it. <clears throat> that's that's people always like, dude, like. Like recently, I've been cutting down hours on my job, trying to focus on training and focus on this. And people are like, dude, you're not going to make money. I'm like, I don't care. Like, I'm going to make money. This is my money. Being yeah, able, dude. like, the messages I receive from people be like, hey, I picked up our jump rope because of you. Or, hey, I started working out because of you. You, know, you, you motivated. That's my wealth. I could give a F less about, you know, my paycheck. Nothing, dude. Like, yeah, bills are important. That's the thing. But I feel like we, str- we strive so much from working and the nine to five life and just, you know, being able to su- supply and just me be able to meet needs that we lose the sight of being happy and if i can show somebody how to be happy by letting go of their you know helping them let go let go of their egos or any type of doubts and fears then by means that's my paycheck <laughs> every day is my paycheck i'm cashing out you know damn bro that's that's crazy man a lot yeah. of people your age do not think like no that no at all and that's why a lot of people think like they, they i come off as older i guess like a lot of people think i'm like 28 or 30 that's what i was asking yeah Yeah. yeah, your mindset and Mm -hmm. even the fact that you said that you were in the the service i'm like how old is this guy (laughs) because you look like a baby like no offense i'm older but i'm like you look like a kid yeah see yeah yeah yeah. you're the first person that said that thank you (laughs) yeah oh there you go i mean so i was like he was in the service like how long has he been doing this one time i got i was like 32 i was like oh my gosh am i that stressed 32 i was like do i got a wrinkle like do i look stressed like (laughs) what's going on i was was upset (laughs) i guess you just worked a long shift yeah i guess right yeah because you know people i mean i know people think i'm a lot older than than I look, which is unfortunate, but that's just being gray <laughs> at, an, at an earlier age. I mean, I was even actually mistaken for uh, hey, Grace to Hill, man. for my my yeah. I mean, I, I dig it. The wife likes it, but actually, was mistaken for her dad. What? Uh, once, yeah. Oh my <laughs> god, that? I remember, remember that. that? Oh, that's hands. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she was <laughs> she was in like a little fender bender, nothing crazy. It was snowing oh, out, oh, and she called so me. She's funny. like, "Hey, can you come meet me over here?" I'm like 12, right, Route 12. So I'm like, "Yeah, I show up." And the lady is standing next to my wife, and she's like, "Oh, how nice your dad came!" And nah. she's like, "No, nah, it's my husband." <laughs> I threw some water on her or something, man. <laughs> uh, it's like, yeah, it's, it's the beard, man. It's the beard. And plus, yeah. back then I was I was still working from home, so I like let it grow out a little bit. Mm. I had this like old man sweater on. I mean, going. you know, yeah, yeah. I was just like, "Yeah, how you doing?" Uh, you know. <laughs> so no, nah, but hey, man, it's it's definitely uh. I know what what you're saying about the money thing and and the fact that you're even speaking how happiness is wealth. It's something that um, I am ashamed to say it took me a long time to realize Mm -hmm. to where like only recently did I realize, you know, how money is not everything, you know, which I mean, for me, it was a little rough because, you know, you got two kids, you got a wife, Mm -hmm. you know, you're trying to support. And I'm, I'm definitely old school mentality with. I take care of my family. Yeah. That's just the way I am. And then when you have it's two daughters, and it's even more so. Where you're like, mm-hmm. I need to protect everything, yep. you know. So, um, but you know, now it's different. You know, now I, I come to find how, when you think about uh, wealth in a positive way, it'll happen and it'll come. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't necessarily always have to work all those hours no. to get it. I mean, there is a time and place for that. Yeah, you know, totally obviously, respectful. you know. Yeah, I mean, look, it's not going to happen overnight, no. for sure. And like, you're st- even you're still working on mm-hmm. it. You know, your body's great, and you definitely made that part of your journey. You're, you're and that you hit that goal at least from mm-hmm. being where you were to where you are now. And now your mindset's changed into building your business and building your brand. Uh, but there's a lot of hard work that's going to go into that. Oh. You have a lot of hard work in front of you. Oh yeah. But the fact that you're doing it mm-hmm. for your passion. Yep. That's is, where the wolf is at. Is boom. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's it's so great to see that. At, at your age that you're just ready to hit it man yeah i think I, I feel like that's how it should be for people my age because uh, like i said we've been not i won't say program but we've been like just let on that we have to work all the time that we mm-hmm. like i saw my parents hate their job hate what they did and the fact that they came home every day they hated what they did mm-hmm. i don't want to be that kind of person when i grow up and when i have kids i want to you know love my life every freaking day love what i do every freaking day that's living like if i'm if i'm hating my, if i'm doing something i don't like to do that's wasting energy. That's just mm-hmm. that's not energy that I don't want to waste. You know, if I can conserve my energy, conserve my happiness, conserve my mentality, then by all means, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> sign me up. Yeah, right. for sure, man. That's awesome. I do have another uh, question for Bro. you from Jaden Vasquez on Instagram. He says, "What's your biggest accomplishment to date?" 
give that a ponder, would ya? What's my biggest? Honestly, I think it is just being this confident and this bold. Because, like I said, if you would have seen, if you would have saw me last year, I had no confidence. I had no self esteem. Mm-hmm. I had, I was the worst of the worst, in my opinion. You know, like that was just my mentality of myself. So, the fact that I'm able to now say to this day I'm happy, that's my biggest accomplishment. Becoming mm-hmm. happy because I haven't like somebody from some, this one one of my friend Jennifer. She I've known her for years and. Back in November, it, it hit me hard because she was like, I've seen you happy, and this is the happiest I've ever seen you been. And she's mm-hmm. known me for years. And like most of my friends feel like, yo, I've never seen you this happy, you're glowing. And it's like, that's that's my accomplishment. Because <laughs> with that, I mean, like, it feels it literally feels like I've been rebirthed just from mm-hmm. a jump rope. Like, as corny as that sounds, it literally feels like I have Not a new life. Not corny at all. Yeah. But <clears throat> like, it literally feels like I have a new life thanks to jump rope. So that's my biggest accomplishment is being able to break out of that mentality, being able to break out of that such low place in my life that i'm here now like not many people can do mm-hmm. <laughs> you know it takes it takes a big a lot of sacrifice and a lot of like hard work to not only just accept that you have to heal accept your traumas accept who you are accept your faults accept your doubts accept your fears it takes a lot of freaking willpower to do that and that's my accomplishment it's definitely just like i said being able to say i'm happy that's it <laughs> That's phenomenal. I have another question. Yeah, keep I'm them coming. I'm guessing it's from one of your siblings because oh, they God. said, well, "Who's your favorite sibling?" <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> I love them both, but lies. <clears throat> yeah, my, young, my younger brother Tata. If you look at him, he's like a spitting image of me. Like, he's is like, that where the tea comes from? Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually call him tea though. The one time his friends called him tea at the house, and I ran down. I was like, "Who are you calling tea?" I was like, hold on, he's T-, T Junior. Get that right. But no, no, definitely my little brother. I love him. Mini he's, T. Yeah, he, mini he's T. The one, he's the one who asked the question. Yeah, yeah. Well, I figured. <laughs> and then we got another one. It says, uh, did you believe that you would have been doing this a couple years ago? No, not at all. Not at all. Like, even last, like, even a couple months ago, like, before I started the Jump Rope page, mm-hmm. I thought I was just going to get fit, you know, keep working multiple jobs or whatever, do what I, want, what I wanted. But I would have never imagined that I'd be spreading the positive joy of, right, of progression yeah. through a jump rope never mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's, this is also real for me still like i still wake up grateful every freaking day that i'm able to that i have a following base based on just a jump rope mm-hmm. and the message so yeah and i mean something that like sticks out it's been sticking out to me all day and i i just really need to bring this up like on snapchat you had mo- like you do classes on like thursdays for people mm-hmm. and and like you know you train with them for an hour i went to one and like there was a time on snapchat where you posted a video and nobody showed up yeah no one showed up to the class yeah. it was just you but you worked through that the like all the feelings that you possibly could mm-hmm. and you still are grateful like for everything so i think that shows a lot to your character that like you know no matter what is being thrown at somebody you can still overcome it and Mm -hmm. become a better person stronger person even from the things that are going on in your life and i i commend that a lot thank you that means a lot thank you you're welcome no yeah i'm a like you said dealing with feelings like i'm a big believer in like people always like dude you're so positive how you how do you maintain that positive outlook Mm -hmm. like it looks like you're just avoiding any negative and it's like no you take the negative in you assess it you deal with it you reflect on it do what you got to do and you let it go and you mm-hmm. keep moving forward and that's what happened in that said situation it's, i had i've had a couple classes where people stopped showing up you know i had them tuesdays and thursdays nobody showed up it was a little heartbreaking you know tears mm-hmm. were shed <laughs> sure yeah but it's, it's whatever you keep it moving and that's exactly what i i decided from instead of doing classes tuesdays and thursdays i can set that time to train more people and that's exactly what it happened i started training more people personal training and stuff like that so it works out it's just like you said you keep on going no matter mm-hmm. what and so i feel you- like so you personal train now? Yeah, yeah. I have and a couple And that's just clients. more than jump rope. That's like the yeah, real Well, deal. it's jump rope oriented. So like the f- main form of cardio and like body weight of workouts is from followed up after the jump rope. So it'll be like about 15, 20 minutes of jump rope. In the set time, I would you know, teach them like new skills, new tricks, new combinations. And then after that, we go to the same workout I did basically on how to lose the weight while properly maintaining and building muscle is the same way I was showing because not, not many people know what they're doing in the gym, you know? Everybody can be like, oh, I lift, you know, I go in there, I max out, this and that. But it's like, if you actually want to gain muscle and gain weight uh, in muscle mass or just lose weight and tone up, you have to build it up mm-hmm. with proper technique and proper form. So do you provide them with, like, meal plans and stuff also? I See, I've been, I'm trying to get my nutrition thing certified, mm-hmm. certifi- uh, certification for it. But essentially, I would give them, like, a list of, like, what to avoid and what to get. 
when they ask. <laughs> when, a lot they of, ask. Yeah, when they ask because a lot of them they don't they're just like oh i'm just gonna eat whatever and i tell them like look you don't want to eat the, I, I, like, i'll give them the breakdown of it the first couple of days like the first couple of times and then hopefully it builds up like a routine for them but you know i can't force what you i can't no, control sure. what you're gonna eat yeah. so but well that's what you know even angie and i were talking the other day how like it really is a lot with your diet mm -hmm. yeah you know, they like, say it's 20 percent gym 80 percent diet mm -hmm. if you want results yeah i mean i see you have abs Mm. So I would trust anything yeah. that you said <laughs> I, for sure. Man. I was like, he knows how to eat right, you know, for sure. So now you're, you're definitely, so are you looking, I know you said you want to do the jump rope and mm. build your brand, but, and you said you're doing less hours at uh, the restaurant you're working at now. Mm. Is it being, you know, replaced with just personal training all the time? Yeah. And I've also been doing like more rope sales I've been doing going on. And I also do online training as well, like via FaceTime and Zoom calls. Like I've had somebody from Spain, Czechoslovakia, and okay, yeah. Okay. How'd you like get it? them from Instagram? Instagram and Facebook. So like, there's a jump rope group on Facebook as well, where I'll post some videos and they'd reach out to me, send me a personal message, and I'm like, yeah, you know, for sure. Here's the Zoom ID. Here's my number. Whatever works out for you. And then that's it. We just set it up, and it's like a FaceTime call basically. And then we that's train. killer, yeah. man. Yeah, it's it's going. It's been it's been alright. <laughs> See the positive mindset. Yeah. And having positive vibes, mm -hmm. and it's coming always you know and you're just living your you know, passion that's what i'm saying if you work if you work while you're doing your passion i feel like money will replace it money will show up in your life regardless because you're pursuing what you want to do that's so true man i mean i'm on book number three uh, i'm doing 75 hard Whippa. with Ange. that's what we're doing Ooh. i'm on book number three because mm -hmm. you have to read a book every day mm -hmm. and it's all the same thing like i know they have their own different tips you mm -hmm. know in each book but they always talk about how like just <laughs> live your passion yeah do what you want to do mm -hmm. and it just comes you know because you put it out into the universe you know and, and it's just like there's another man right in front of me living proof mm -hmm. that you're just like yeah i'm just gonna start jump rope in one day and now i'm gonna build a brand and now yeah. i'm gonna help people lose weight now i'm gonna show them how to personally train mm -hmm. correctly and you're not you're just like now you're working less at the yeah. job you don't want to be doing not that it's a bad place shut up memos no memos is memos is, memos is yeah. great to me they they took me in when I was, like I said, I was in a bottom place. They took me in as like a kid, basically, like one of their kids, like Lucy and them. So I love them. The cooks, all of them, Peaks, Peaks and Men, all of them. They're great. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love them over there for sure. Um, but yeah, man, I, you know, and and uh, and now you just, mm -hmm. you almost live in the dream. Bro. Yeah. But so tell me about the, the you're selling merch. Mm -hmm. So you're selling merch. You're, now, do you have a website? I have I've been working on that recently because I I'm still trying to like edit out either what I want to do like videos of me jumping rope and like tutorials on that said website instead of doing it through Instagram but it's just it's like a lot of tedious things I've been mixing around so it's mm -hmm. in the works definitely right in the works but I have an order form where shirts I have shirts is that a shirt mm -hmm. yeah it's a jump rope T-shirt it's the jump rope and then it's a T made out of the jump rope handles and it has a logo going around it. And this is actually, somebody reached out, like when I first made the page and I first wanted to, you know, get out there, I released wristbands, mm -hmm. little, you know, little crappy wristbands, it was just going out there. And then just the people can be like, hey, go out and get it, what is this, jump rope, oh crap, hell yeah. And then somebody reached out and was like, hey, I like the logo, you know, let's, I'm going to pay a graphic designer for you, and then you can use the logo and use it for yourself. So right, right then and there, I, I started becoming really grateful. And that's when like doors started opening up for people who are like meant to be in my life at the time, or guiding right me on. through it. He was one of them. I've, I just had people guiding me and like showing me almost like my own progression as a person. Like, hey, this is what you got to do. This is what you got to do. Remind yourself about this. So it's it's been a long way. But yeah, I have I have the t-shirts. I have this. I have hats and the jump ropes at the moment. Yeah. That's killer, man. Yeah. So great. what do you got to do to have your own jump rope? Well, I buy them in bulk. Yeah, but you said that you wanna manufacture yeah. your own. Well, one one is the money. <laughs> okay, so yeah. you've looked into this. Yeah, already. it's expensive. Just start like trying to like get like the actual printer that prints out your logo and etches it into the actual handle, the rope, getting a rope manufacturer and all that. It's it's money. So yeah. that's that's the only thing stopping me, which is why I'm hopefully saving up slowly so that one day I can get to that point mm -hmm. and full have like a full on website, full on launch, everything done the right way. Because like when I first did it, I was just doing it locally. Like I probably bought like 80 shirts, you know, they sold pretty fast. I have like probably like 10 left. Uh, the, the hats went, the the wristbands went, like it was just locally. And like, I, I've been shipping all around the United States now because of like this, the order forms now. So, right on. Mm -hmm. 
I put great. the the Google Doc. I put it on the Facebook comments. So if anybody wants some merch, <laughs> go ahead check and, and check out the Google Doc. Yeah. Anything Thank helps. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you need help with website stuff, definitely get I'll in touch. Because I suck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, we we know a thing or two about mm. building websites. We might have built a couple. <laughs> you know, people might Handful. like them. <laughs> Dude, that's that's it's, it's amazing. I love I love your story. I Thank think you, I man. love how inspiration you are you are for sure you know i Thank think it's you. it's very uh it's very awesome you know yeah you know, i definitely Appreciate love it you, uh no for sure man uh so i i feel like i feel like there's just there's so much more left you know and, mm-hmm. and i'm trying to figure out ways to like get it out of you you know i can i can tell you about like how to like break out of like your old habits i can tell what I. yeah man give me some tips on that yeah i mean i'm definitely i'm definitely into listening to that actually one of the questions that before we get into one of the questions i did have now that's it's coming to my mind tell me about a person that you helped the most like i know you said getting yourself happy was was great Mm -hmm. but i'm sure there's a story out there about someone that who like came to you and said thank you or just asked for your help Mm -hmm. and now you've totally changed them and turned them around honestly I think one of my best friends, Edward Serial, because he was he was going through his own thing, and like he always, I mean, I've known him. I, I have a close group of friends. They're all my bo- brothers, basically. We've known each other since second grade. We're yeah. like six years old, and we still keep in contact now. You know, we still see each other almost every day. Well, not every day, but like we contact every day. But Edward definitely was. He was going through his you know rough patch, and mm. he def- he reached out to me, and he saw how my mentality and my like happiness was uh, blossoming. So he was like, "Yo." how how are you so happy how are you doing this like what the hell what the hell are you doing right and i just started talking you know talking to him about stuff like people forget the fact that it's okay to feel like especially like it's okay to accept you know deal with whatever feelings you got to go on as long as you accept it that you're feeling it and then you let it go people don't people hold on to it that's where depression that's where regrets comes in that's where anxiety comes in because they're fo- too focused on the past constantly so it's like oh i did this wrong i did this wrong it's like okay you did it wrong see how you can fix it move on simple like that it's it's people get so mad at me when i tell them simple minded things but it's having a simple mind when it comes to trying to break out of that you know old uh program that you're used to it's that's exactly it. it's a simple mind simple mind will lead to simple actions which lead to a better life <laughs> in my that's, opinion that's definitely yeah. you know you're definitely right on about mm-hmm. that i think people do make they make it hard on themselves yeah you know which, which you don't need to no and I think that's a great way of putting yeah. it you need to write a book I've been. <laughs> yeah, I think you need to write boy, a book. You have like these uh, T isms. Right? T-isms? You oh, have a lot like of T isms. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> like like they're so great. I'm gonna steal that. It's, it's just amazing. <laughs> you definitely like. An, you're you're definitely inspiring me to to even be different. The mm-hmm. way I'm handling even the podcast. You know, I love taking criticism. I ask everybody all the time, like you know, um, what should I be doing different? What should I be doing better? My wife even talked to me today. She gave me some tips. Um, and I'm trying to implement them myself. But like even just talking to you, though, has totally changed even my mindset mm-hmm. of like how to handle things. Yeah, I want to buy a jump rope tomorrow. <laughs> you know, I'm going to try because you're telling me low impact yeah, definitely. on the knees. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, I you saw do, if, I, if done right, though, that's the thing. Like a lot of people okay. mess it up, but if done right. See, for me, I have I have high blood pressure. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm working on it. It's going down now. But it was to a point where the doctor was like, listen, man. You can only walk. Yeah. Like, that's all you can do. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, you can't lift weights. You can't hit the bag anymore. Because mm-hmm. I was like, hitting the bag, lifting the weights, 75 hard. Everything was going great. He's like, can't do it. it you know, he's like, you can only walk. And I'm like, dude, walk. That's it. But now you're telling me low impact on the knees. Mm-hmm. Let me try it out. And I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, man. That video, I was like, dude, like jump rope. Yeah, just yeah. a jump rope, yeah, man. People, jump people, rope. people are always like, nah, there's no way. I'm like, bro, just a jump rope. Like, I hate, I hate running. Like, even like, I used to be a big runner, but like <laughs> I said, like, I, I used to go running after school every day, six, five, six miles, and stuff like that. I would just love running, but it, was, it got to a point where I was too big, and I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah I mean, but see, walking is hard for me right yeah, now, like okay. because because my doctor said only walking and 75 hard is two 45 minute workouts a day. So I'm walking every day, mm-hmm. twice a day, and there's no breaks. So like this is now day forty one. We're on day forty. Mm-hmm. It's been forty one days straight. How's it been going? Um, How you feel? I feel good. I feel a lot better. We're I'm down like thirty something pounds at good this point. Shit. Yeah, good I was stuff. actually a lot bigger. Really good yeah, stuff. Yeah, man. yeah. Holy thank hell. you. So it's it's going well. Um, 
but I'm starting to feel it in my knees, man, in my mm. legs. I'm like, I don't know how much longer I can just do, do it, yeah. walking, mm -hmm. you know? So it's, it's definitely, I'm definitely really, really interested yeah. in grabbing a jump mm -hmm. rope. Are you still doing those classes every week? I've actually, I've been talking with a couple of people. I'm looking at hopefully doing them on Sundays now. That way people get, people still get some free time. Mm -hmm. Cause like what I found a lot too, I had them like during kind of like busy hours, like six, seven o'clock. So like I figured most people couldn't make it due to their work schedule. Right. But I figured Sunday, you know, afternoon, one, two o'clock at a park, meet up every freaking week or twice a week if, if needed. It depends how many people want to actually show up. Then I'll do it easily. So that's definitely in the works. Hopefully by mid-May, I'll have my first Sunday class again. And where are you the, thinking to be having that? Hopefully at the, at the uh, West Riding Museum here. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully I'll go to the, the first park. Sunday one. Yeah, man. It's going. It's, it's, it's going to be fun. Like I'm excited for it. Music going. Hopefully a lot more people. Hopefully some snacks afterwards. And then... Not even snacks. There's, there's a rise of nutrition too. Um, that and, just opened up. Yeah, I worked there. I worked there as well on uh, Mondays yeah. and Wednesdays. So, and tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Rise up nutrition. Wednesday, 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 where people just like, hey, let's go jump rope. Let's go get this workout in real quick. Well, it's like, it's almost sad then that you're thinking about living, leaving the Reading area. Yeah, it is. But at the same time, like, I want to, I don't know. It's like, in my opinion here, Reading, I, I don't like the vibes here, if that makes sense. It's like people, people, I don't want to say, I don't, I'm not, you know, talking crap on anybody. I love the city. But it, it's gotten to the point where people wish the best for you, but don't show it. Where they'll like, you know, kind of like hate on you a bit. And be like, hey, I'm not really gonna support you or anything, but good stuff, you know. Like, <laughs> I, I, I swear, it, it's like that. It's gotten to the point where it's like, no, I'm like, okay, I'm with you. yeah, I'm just like, I'm okay. Well, that's the that's the number one thing, right? Mm -hmm. It's like you know, um, everybody's quick to say, hey, good job or good yeah. thing, but they mm -hmm. never want to like, let's say they never want to buy your T-shirt. Oh yeah, they don't want to go to one of your classes or a follow, share, yeah, like. Even, you know? what's, <laughs> okay, follow, share, and like. One of the simplest things that's free. Yeah, it's free. That's why I don't really. They I won't even do it. it. No, yeah. And I think about that every day because mm -hmm. I go I go on my Instagram, I go on my Facebook, and I'm always just double clicking, 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 mm -hmm. click because I, I love everybody. Yeah. I love all As my friends, be, yeah. all my colleagues. I'm, I'm always doing mm -hmm. that because I know algorithms and all that crap, yeah. right? And then I sit back and go, I only got six likes. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's like, yeah. I'd be thinking like that too. But see, that's, that's the beauty about the Jump Rope community in itself on Instagram. They're so supportive. They are loving. Like, I... I talk to sometimes more people on there than I do in real life here. <laughs> like I, I have, believe it. I have more For buddies sure. on the jump rope world than I do like sometimes here that I talk to more. So I, the, the jump rope community in itself is like, it's a beautiful side of Instagram. It's nothing but love, nothing but support, nothing but just people want to see you do better. Like it's nobody like it's an everybody eat type thing. Like nobody wants to hide a trick from you. Like if I know how to do a trick, I'm going to gladly show you how to do what a is trick. A, you know, there's a lot of love out there, dude. Mm -hmm. I think the yeah. problem is that you know people just they automatically think of the negative, and that's all you ever get. That's all you ever get to see half the time, is just negative this. Mm -hmm. And you know, even like you sitting here and you're saying like, yeah, you know, even Reading, you know, there's a lot of that out there, but yeah. there's so much love out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've I've even learned that on TikTok. Listen, yeah, 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 forty-two yeah, year definitely. old dude mm -hmm. talking about SEO on a brand new social network, and everybody's like, I love you, you're great, like, mm -hmm. thank you so much. I'm like. You think SEO is, yeah. is interesting because I think it's like watching paint dry. I'm good at it. I know <laughs> what I'm doing, but yeah, and people love it. And I get messages all the time. And you're so right about how you talk to more people on social, social media, media than you yeah. do in real life. Mm -hmm. Because when I was doing, I had a, like a Mets Instagram account, for, and I still have it. It's called Mets Hot Corner. But for a few years there, um, that's what I did for fun, essentially, when I was still trying to build up my business. Mm -hmm. And the amount of people that I talked to on that forum or on that social network was astronomical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we all Can't had imagine. that same interest. And I've actually met some of them in real life. That's even better. You know, yeah, just even, I'm, I actually met a couple by accident in Cooperstown. I actually went with my wife to watch Mike Piazza get inducted into the Hall of Fame. So mm -hmm. I was in Cooperstown. That's a drive. And yeah, it's not bad. I've been, <laughs> I've been further places. Um, and it was these two people online behind us. And I had like a, two extra tickets to get into the museum or something. And uh, I was like, hey, you guys, you know, they want to go in? Yeah, they want to go in. I'm like, you know, my name's Fred or whatever. And I was like, you know, uh, I'm Matt's Hot Corn. Like, oh, my God, we follow your page. And I'm like, oh, it's freaking awesome. So That's it was even amazing. cool to get them in there. Because I was great. like, thanks for being supportive. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, man, I, I think 
um, there's so much more positivity in social media when yeah. you get rid of the crap. Mm -hmm. Like one yeah. of the best things I ever did was during COVID and the election and everything, I used my unfollow button oh. <laughs> for everything. And I, I unfollowed that. so many people, mm -hmm. but I'm never depressed online. No. You know, I'm, I never have bad shit ever on there. Mm -hmm. It's always like funny stuff or dogs, because uh, I love dogs and baseball and love and peace and happiness. So you can definitely set yourself up yeah, to be in that positive mindset. Because mm -hmm. you're absolutely right, man. When you sit there and you don't want to do something and you, you live in the unhappiness, yep. nothing's going to happen. No. You just got to just flip that switch mm -hmm. and just great things happen. Mm -hmm. That's you the thing. Sure. It's just switching that mentality. Going from mm -hmm. like, oh, why me? To like, okay, it happened to me. What can I do? What can I do to prevent that from happening to me again? It's that mentality switch. But I, no, I definitely feel with the love. Like, I love my social media. Like, my, one of the best things I did was make that page in itself because, like, yep. I can choose who I want to follow. And, like, mm -hmm. I was following nothing but loving people and loving, you know, support. So it was just, like, flourishing, just, like, being surrounded by love. So I definitely feel that. It, it was great. And, like, the thing, what I love the most about it, too, is, like, I'm, I preach progression, like, every day. Like, just the fact, the mere fact that progression is doing something better than you were doing yesterday, pushing mm -hmm. yourself a little harder, or just, you know, being consciously aware you're making decisions that are going to prevent, uh, that are going to, uh, push you further down your road of progression. Mm -hmm. That's what I literally say every day. I tell people that so they can get into it. So, excuse me. God, I'm that boring. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think I said a lot of words that sentence. All the oxygen just came out. So, like, the beautiful thing I love about the whole Instagram page is, like, people can see the progression from, like, when I first started it, learning tricks, all the way down, which is why I feel like if people can have that for, like, a business or, like, or they're using social media for that set platform, it'll they'll even see, like, their own progression. And, like, it'll it's like a tracker type thing. So that's, that's the best part I like yeah, about that's, it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, like, I go yeah. back to like three, four months ago. I'm looking at a video. I'm like, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I can't, oh, yeah, I dude, I still got MySpace designs on my Facebook page. Oh, I still got my MySpace. <laughs> yeah, and that's like, oof, that's years yeah. ago. But I, but I find them on and I go, look where you came from, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, stuff like that is definitely inspirational to oh, see yeah. that. Yeah, I don't really like deleting anything on there um, unless it's like totally stupid. But mm -hmm. um yeah, you, that's a really good point. I mm. like that. You you see where you come from. Yep. It almost humbles you. Yeah. You know, and be like, listen, man, this is all the work I put in. And it, it really does take years mm -hmm. to get to where you want to go. Yeah. Because yeah, this is like a, a work of passion and love here, too. But um, it was like 2008, 2009 when I really started doing this. Like, was like, okay, I'm really going to try to make something of all yeah. this stuff that I'm doing. And that's 12, what, that's 12, 13 something years yeah, already. Yeah, it takes time. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it takes a long time, mm -hmm. man, for sure. Um, but, you know, it's just, you know, I like you said before, getting rid of the past. Mm -hmm. You know, stop living in the past. Stop dealing with the bullshit from the past. Yes. If you're always going to bring it up, yeah. you're never going to progress. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, was, that was probably like the my favorite thing that you definitely shared tonight was the fact that you like, okay, this happened, assess it get over it yeah. and move on that's it and if you live in the past you're never going to get mm -hmm. any better no because you're you're focusing all that energy all that time in the past and it's like why i can focus on what i'm going to do later right on. for what reason yeah or it's like over that thing too or like people forget to live in the present people forget like i'm living right now like they get so caught up in work they get so caught up in stress their kids they're you know i'm not working out they're i'm getting i know getting kids weight. jesus christ yeah. kids. <laughs> <laughs> just looks over <laughs> i have questions <laughs> oh we have questions what we got okay marcus vasquez he asks what's your favorite cheat meal no oh, jeez, i know who's gonna ask do you that. cheat yeah, oh, definitely. <laughs> See, that's the thing. That's the beautiful thing about jump rope. Since it's, it's such a high calorie like uh, uh, workout, I can eat high calorie foods mm -hmm. as long as you know. Obviously, I'm watching my carbs and I'm watching my sugars, but I can eat like me. I love cannolis, especially Mimo's cannolis. Well, Mimo's cannolis. Oof, so, even, how many oof. calories can you burn? Up. Uh, okay, so put it this way: ten minutes of jumping rope is equivalent thirty minutes of running at an eight mile per hour pace. What? You can burn up to almost five. I think it's 500 to 600 calories just with running an hour. With jump rope, you can burn up to like 900 to 1,000. I'm pretty sure it's, if I remember correctly. For jump correctly. roping yes, for an just hour? Yes, oh, just about an hour, yeah. And how, okay. If, I'm saying like nonstop or like if you just, you know. I mean, I can go for like an hour. I go for tops. My jump rope session's probably like, I split them up at first. But when I was losing the weight, it'd be like 45 minutes to an hour of just straight jumping but how so you, you never stopped in between for even I like a few seconds i would barely stop it'd be like 30 seconds to get some water because I'd, I'd really get in the zone and like i'd 
a lot of people like will look at me crazy when I jump rope because I talk to myself. I'm like, you're not stopping. <laughs> like you're going. You're, you keep going. I was like, yeah, you're breathing. You're good. You're chilling. I was like, we got it. Keep going. Like I literally be my own biggest hype man, and that's how I feel like everybody should be. Mm-hmm. Be right? your own hype man because yeah, nobody dude. else is gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for myself. <laughs> well, that's the other great thing too, right? It's like it's like it's funny. Again, 75 hard for Zell is always just like, you know, like on the, on the app. Okay, one I will admit that one day I missed a photo. Mm-hmm. You know, it wasn't anything critical. It was like a good photo. And I woke up in a panic. I was like, oh, shit, I didn't take the photo. So mm-hmm. I opened up the app. It was like, you failed. And I'm like, no, it was just a photo. <laughs> and I'm like, and they're like, do you want to really put the photo? And I'm like, yes, I want to put the photo in. And then the next thing is you're only cheating yourself, you know, by admit like saying that you didn't do something. Ooh, right. Say. But but I'm like, you know what? That's absolutely right. Like, it's really up to you. Mm-hmm. Like, it's great to have, uh, you know, people telling you, you know, let's do it together. And yeah. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's mm-hmm. great because yeah. I'm in a group right now with four other people. It's me, Ange, my wife, Maylene and Dominic. And we're all hyping each other up through this Good. challenge. Good. That's awesome. Um, but definitely, like, you need to be your own hype man. Yeah. And that app definitely said, it just said it right there. It's like, you're not cheating anybody else. But yourself. But yourself. Mm-hmm. It's so true, mm-hmm. man. See, yeah. I like that though. It's it's good to have that support system too, though. Like you said, it's good to do it by yourself, but you have to surround yourself with like minded people or just a strong support system that's going to back you exactly, up. Exactly. Yeah. Because if not, it's like it, yeah, you can do it by yourself, but there gets time. There gets to a point in time in your you know progression or whatever where it's like okay, I'm done doing this by myself. Like the weight of the world feels heavy. <laughs> yeah. And people always like, <clears throat> how do you smile all the time? And it's like, bro. I smile, but it's it's heavy. It's heavy at times. I got abs. Yeah, I got abs, kid. And I eat cannolis. No, no, no. (laughs) cannolis are my weakness. But you know, definitely that support system is definitely strong to have. So that's great that you guys are doing that. That's yeah, and that's that's good in life, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me tell you, when you have Mm -hmm. great people around, I mean, listen, if you want to build yourself up in any way, whether it's like relationships or your business or life or a friend, whatever it is, just surround yourself with people Mm -hmm. that are positive and on the same path as you. Mm -hmm. And I've learned that a lot by when I moved here, I knew not a soul. Um, But when I started going out into the wild and networking, it was with like-minded individuals, you know, so other entrepreneurs or people that were trying to build a business or whatever the case is. And what I found was that they were all for the most part positive. Mm-hmm. And the hardworking people, uh, but very positive and always goal oriented and like, you know, yeah. I'm going to get here. I'm going to get here. I'm going to get here. And when you hang out with people like that, it's almost like um, photosynthesis in a way. It's <laughs> where it's like, it rubs yeah, off. It just comes in like you just like, you know, yeah, infectious hands, just a better word mm-hmm. uh, where <clears throat> you have to succeed. It's almost like failing is like not an option. Yeah. And not that there's anything wrong with failing because you learn so much mm-hmm. from failing. But it's it like it doesn't happen almost, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know. So that that whole thing with surrounding yourself with positive people yeah. is is totally one of the best pieces of advice you can give anyone. Yeah, definitely. Because like for me, I really found that like I used to love going out, you know, like I said, going out to clubs, bars. I used to love that, and like the, I I was really strayed away from that, and I started surrounding myself, like you said, with like minded people, and I was like, why even go out anymore? Like, that doesn't make sense. Like, and I started feeding, like you said, feeding off of their energy. Oh my! And it was, it was just contagious. Like the fact that mm-hmm. there's so many supportive people. That that like I love that. Like there's tons of them out there. Mm, that's what I'm saying. Like it's just it's hard finding them. That's the only yeah part. <laughs> sure. But you gotta put yourself in those mm-hmm. uh, those you know situations where you can have them. Yeah. You know where like you're right. Like and there's nothing wrong with going to clubs and all that stuff. I mean there's always oh, a yeah, time no, and place. Yeah, yeah, no. But like yeah, once a consistency there, yeah. that's you mm-hmm. know what you're gonna be surrounded yep. with. Whereas it, like for you, it's like. You know what? Maybe for you, for you, it was Instagram. Yeah. You know, you were doing your journey, just being your own hype man. But Instagram, you know, those people just supporting exactly what you're doing. Yeah. People that you don't even know mm-hmm. have no reason to support you in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. Because you've never met them in your life. Yep. That's what touched me mainly. Like when I first started the page, dude, I can't tell how many times I cried <laughs> just from like being grateful for the fact that people were like buying ropes, the fact people were supporting. Like it gets me emotional because it's like, People are believing you. Like <clears throat> growing up, I never really did anything to like was that was like astronomical. Like it wasn't nothing major. You feel like I never really had like that sense of accomplishment. And the fact that I was doing this and people were supporting this small little thing, mm-hmm. that's what skyrocketed me. Like I can't when I started the page, there was this like driving power behind me just from like the support. Like I would wake up at three thirty in the morning, go to the gym, practice for two three hours just to improve my skills so that I can draw more attention to the page so I can get mm-hmm. the message out there. Mm-hmm. So I'd do it for, I'd be at the gym for four hours, go train some people there, go to work. You know, it'd be a, a, a oh like a, I would always be moving. Yeah, <clears throat> it was just it, it was it's it was amazing. It, it that this this whole like 
progression journey for me has definitely been amazing. So I'm I get I get choky, teared up about it because like it's it's about to be a year for me, and it's like holy crap, so much has well, happened. It's a year this, year. this Saturday, you said. Yeah, year this Saturday. One for year rope. this Saturday, mm-hmm. jumping rope. Never did it before, really. No, no barely. <laughs> Lost how many pounds total? Seventy-one, I believe. Seventy-one pounds. Been, yeah. In a year, Mm -hmm. change your whole life. Mm -hmm. Like I'm talking 180. Yeah, it takes one year, people. That's it. One year. That's all. That's all it is. This is literally one year. (laughs) And people, you just have to be dedicated to it. Because like I have people now who like hit me up to work out or like want to get trained, but I can see like the effort isn't there in them. Like I and and, like I don't want to sound like you know a pretentious you know d bag or anything when I tell them like look you have to want to do it. It's simple. I'm with you. Yeah. It's like like. The fact you like, I don't even know how to say it to them. It's like, I don't want to sound rude to them when I tell them that's that's the main thing. I want them to be able to like accept the fact that I have to do this for myself. That's why I push to people all the time, like, bro, you have to want to do it because I yeah. can't force you to do it. No, I've tried to lose weight a few times, yeah. And it was one time where it really worked, <laughs> um, a bunch of years ago. Um, and then just you know, as time went on, it just packed it on, you know, slowly but surely mm-hmm. it came back, came back, came back, yep. and uh, the you waves. Know, yeah, you know, and I'm doing it again now, but you, you, I think now I feel like I'm really on that journey to finally start getting getting it off my body uh, for, you know, finally forever. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, you know, I could, I could definitely see how, you know, you want them to be, you know, ready to do it. Yeah. You can't just half-ass it, man. No. It never works. Then you unmotivate yourself. You see, like, I don't want to do this. And it's like, all right, I'm done. Your body, your mind is going to convince you not to do it anymore. Always. Always. That's usually how Always. it is for people. They let their mind, their fear, doubts. It's like ah, this, um, the uncomfortability level is scary. <laughs> the fact that people are they're not willing to accept being uncomfortable for a short period of time is what scares me sometimes. For like people my age or something like that. Like when I see people my age working out again, I'm just like, yes, thank you. It's like you're doing something. It's like you he- health is important. People people mm-hmm. miss that fact. It's like it's not working out to look good. It's not working out to like you know fit your clothes better. It's literally working out so you can live a longer life, so you can be here longer. And you can, you know, see your family grow older and not just be troubled with, you know, health problems along the way. Like, you don't want to catch cirrhosis at the freaking age of 28 from drinking all that damn time, you know? Like, mm-hmm. you know, it's just, you want to be able to have a healthy life. And that's mainly what I push to people. It's like, yo, this isn't just about looking good. It's mentally and physically being able to outlast. Yeah, it's almost like the looking good is like an added bonus. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. it. Like, I, like, my body... Like my body feels great and stuff, but my mind is what really drives my body to feel great. Cause it's like, bro, I can't even explain. Like I'm, like, my mind compared to like I I keep saying it compared to back then was really it's really a, like a huge difference, and just being happy in itself it's it's such a huge freaking difference. And like I love my mind now, literally. Like I people people come up to me and like they will like ask me a stupid question or like I'll be at work or like, you know, I'll get attitude or anything like that. I'm just like, yo, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. This ain't worth it. This ain't worth it. So like, you resting up your peace. Don't worry. It. It's not worth it. Right. Yeah. yeah. It took me a long time to be like that. Yeah. I used to get mad at everything. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's just like, <laughs> for what reason? Yeah. It's like, bro, I'm, you like, get nothing out of it. No, it's an emotion that you just don't even need. Anger is really just, it brings out the worst in people. So. Oh man. Yeah. I was watching, I mean, I love TikTok, of course, but I was watching this, uh, I forget his name, but he looks like a very wise Gandhi type guy, you know, and he's just like, people don't make you angry. You make yourself yeah, angry. Yeah. And I was like, no, they piss me. No, I piss myself mm-hmm. off. I was like, that was, that was like the best thing I think I heard. Yeah. He's like, why do you waste so much energy on it? Mm-hmm. They don't make you angry. You make yourself angry. Yep. And I was like, it's so true. It's so easy to blame mm-hmm. other people. Yep. Easy. Yeah, it's so easy to blame other people. Mm-hmm. And you control everything about yourself. Mm-hmm. I, Literally. I would, yep. I always tell people too, it's like, you can't let others dictate how you feel about your day. Like, yeah, they may maybe have set you off for a little bit, but you can't let that said little upset from your dad, somebody calls to you, dictate how you go about your day. That's really how it is. It's like, that's, it took me a while to, like you said, it took me a while to learn that. But like, once I started learning that, adapting those ways and those mannerisms, it skyrocketed. Like my, just ego, my, and once you catch momentum and like you seeing your mental and physical health increasing, you just, it's like a, the snow, uh, what's that? Snowball. Snowball. Yeah, there you go. Snowball mm-hmm. effect. It just keeps mm-hmm. going down, just gets bigger and bigger and then boom. <laughs> yeah, even with the positive stuff, it, it works like that. Yeah. yeah. Cause everybody always, you know, compare that to negative. Oh, mm-hmm. here we go. It's, you know, every, oh, you know yep. one thing happens, everything happens. It's like, I guess, mm-hmm. but if you stopped and took the positive out of everything and started doing that, that becomes a ball too. Yep. That's yeah, that's that's a switch that people need to start doing. It's like, okay, let me stop being why me? Like I said, what can I do that's gonna be the better? Whining. 
The yeah. whining is the worst. Yeah. I'm so sick of hearing about whining. Mm -hmm. So sick about hearing how hard everything is. Yep. So sick about hearing what you got to pull off and it's mm -hmm. the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. No. You're not you, going to fucking yeah. die. Yeah. No, that's you know, what I'm saying. That's the thing. It's, like, mm -hmm. it's not the end of the world. Handle nope. your shit, but be positive. Well, yeah, that's it. It ain't hard, mm -hmm. man. But nope. for some people, they just make it so hard for themselves. And that's what's aggravating. Yeah. You know, I don't... It's enough seeing of that. that, yeah, seeing it. That's why, I like, I really strayed away from people like that nowadays. It's like, bro, if you're if you're not there mentally, I'm not gonna be there with you because I'm not mm -hmm. trying to drag myself down. It's like work on yourself. I can help you how to work on yourself, but you know, just work on yourself. <laughs> that way, you're not dragging other people down. <laughs> yeah, dude. So, Alexis, when's the book coming out, man? Because <laughs> I want to buy it, man. <laughs> next year or two. Next year or two. We'll I want to buy we'll that. Start stuff down. I want to buy teaisms <laughs> for sure. I man. like that. Before we close out, I do have, um, I think, one more question for you from Jessica. She says, do you have a program in mind for, like, children, elementary schools, maybe? Oh. Like a jump rope assembly type deal? I have uh, I know who that is. So <laughs> I, I've uh, essentially been trying to, Miss Jessica, she actually brought it up. It's my uh, best friend's mom. She, she's a school teacher in the Redding School District. She Aww. brought it up to me back then. And um, growing up, there used to be this Fred Yo-Yo guy. And he'd come in doing a bunch of yo-yo tricks, you know, whipping around, had like a different characteristic for each one, different story. And then he'd tell his yo-yos. And I'm like, I basically do the same thing with the rope now. Yeah, dude. So I can like, I've been trying to incorporate like a program where it's like me having different personas. It would be like Speedy T and I would do nothing but speed work. It'd be Cowboy T and then I'd just start throwing, the, you know, the lasso around. Or it'd be Pogo T where I'm just jumping on one leg doing a bunch of tricks, you know, like stuff like that is what I want to work towards. To hopefully be that Fred Yo-Yo guy, and it'll yeah. be jump rope tea. Uh, start selling, you know, jump rope. Start selling merchandise, you know, to kids. That way, because jump rope for heart, that used to be a big thing growing up. Right, And yeah. they, they just stopped it out of nowhere. So it's like. Oh, yeah. You guys did that. Yeah, yeah we did jump rope for mm -hmm. heart. I remember doing that in Long That's Island. Right. So, yeah, Miss Jessica, I got you. That's going. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And so where can people find you? Where can, how can they buy stuff? Like, So if us. you go on my Instagram, though, jump underscore rope underscore T, there's an order form in the bio. Mm -hmm. And you can welcome to click it on there. And once you click it on there, it has this, uh, the basic, it's a basic layout for now. It has the color ropes that I have available, the shirts. And uh, all you have to do is put your name, your information, preferred contact, and preferred payment method. And boom, I'll reach out to I check them almost daily. And I reach out to you usually within the day or two. Mm hmm killer mm -hmm. right on man well yo alexis this was a pleasure dude hey seriously man i had so much yeah fun. That's a, i think it's great. my favorite one so far oh, thank yeah, you man. nothing against any of my guests i love all you guys <laughs> uh but this one was was actually the first one where i was not prepared because i did not know anything about you mm. except what Ange told me so i personally had a great time thank you and me i too. feel i feel so much more comfortable and uh, I, I thank you for that. I appreciate that. I appreciate your patience. Uh, but congrats, bro. Thank like, you, man. This is a great story. Thank dude. you. And thank I you. hope you achieve everything you want in life, man. I hope you always stay happy, dude. Thank you, man. Forever. Plan on it. <laughs> thank right. you. Thank Thanks you. again, man. Thank you, man. All right. Thank you for checking out Fred Talk. Visit us online at fxvdigital.com or your favorite social network at fxvdigital. You'll never miss an episode if you check out our YouTube channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you never miss an episode. For Alexis, for Anne, for myself. Thank you for watching Fred Talk. And always, never, never, ever forget, your Uncle Freddie loves you. Peace. Peace. See you guys later.